stuff I bought recently, number 42, um, it's a bit of a Mega Drive special this one, um, been picking up quite a few Mega Drive uh, shmups um, over the past couple of months really, uh, but this is a video kind of putting them all together. Um, been really inspired by um, Ian Wilson's recent pickup and uh, Cyanide Breath Mint's uh, recent videos as well, because he's actually completed his um, yeah Japanese Mega Drive shmup collection with uh, yeah with a mighty eliminate down. He must be really really chuffed to have that, and uh, it's a it's a great story. Um, yeah, the the wheeling and dealing he did to actually uh, to get the game. Um, so yeah, check both those guys' channels out. I'll put links on. Um, you probably all subs anyway. Um, so the first game I'm going to show you was the first game that actually came, and it's um, yeah, it's a Mega Drive shoot 'em up I've been kind of craving for a long time, and purely for the cover artwork, to be honest. Uh, when I saw this, I kind of instantly fell in love with the game. Um, it's got an interesting kind of like biomechanical cover, um, and it's a Curse on the Mega Drive. Um, again, got this for a good price. Seems to kind of fluctuate greatly in price and I believe the game itself is actually a pretty average shooter but the um, yeah the, the artwork on it's great apparently this is one of the, the bosses in the game is the, the thing on the front um, so yeah really really nice condition as well um, has to be said the, the cover's got a little bit of um, it's not water damage but it's a bit kind of wavy on the edge um, the sticker's absolutely mint, um, there's a little bit of lifting on the corners there, but I can, I can look at that. Uh, the manual's absolutely spot on, it's really, really mint. Um, and yeah, it's, it's got some quite nice um, artwork in there as well. It's all full colour, obviously. But, yeah, absolutely chuffed to get this one. Gonna have to get myself a Japanese Mega Drive at some point. Um, I believe this is one of those rare ones that doesn't actually work uh, with a converter. So um, that's that. That's the first game. Right, the next game I'm going to show you is uh, another one that I picked up that I didn't really know very much about, to be honest. Um, I believe this one's Cyanide Breath Mint, so I just actually uh, clued me in on this one. Um, it's Dangerous Seed. Absolutely amazing artwork, you know, both on the front and the, and the back of this one. Quite a nice copy as well. I uh, believe this was about eleven pounds. Um, the actual, strangely, the actual case itself's got a little Namco logo on there, but the um, yeah, just a bit unusual. The cartridge itself is absolutely perfect. Manual's got a little bit of a fold there, but I don't mind about that. Um, yes, yeah, special mention for the artwork in this one. Really, really, really specially nice. Lots of nice uh, drawings of the ships in the, in the you know in the game. Um, for the game itself, it's um, it's a bit kind of it's a bit sim not simplistic, but it's a bit it's like a standard shooter really. Uh, the boss battles on it are really really good, but it reminds me of a a compile game, the way it's designed, uh, the first couple of levels. Um, but it's a, it's a lovely little shooter, and as I say, that artwork is gorgeous. Um, so, yeah, well worth picking up if you can pick it up cheap. Okay, the third and last game I'm going to show you is one I've been after for absolutely ages. Um, it's one of those games where you can sometimes pick it really, really cheap. And other times it seems to be, you know, around the twenty, twenty-four pound mark, and I think it's becoming one of those ones that's getting harder and harder to get because of uh, word of mouth, really. Um, unlike the previous two games, this got a release uh, outside of Japan and actually made it to uh, to America, and um, it's uh, Gaiares, or whatever it's called. <laughs> um, but the artwork on this one is beautiful. It's really, really stunning. Um, this copy, the actual, the um, the inlay itself is absolutely perfect. It's fine. 
case on this one, um, it's a bit, you know, it's got bits, got a few sticker marks on there. I can live with that. I can always replace that if I ever need to. Um, cartridge itself is absolutely spot on. You know, nothing wrong with a sticker on this one. And um, yeah, another another one with a fantastic manual in there. There's lots and lots of lovely artwork in this one. Uh, well worth picking up. Um, wanted this one for a while just because I've heard very very good things about how it plays, and I've played this through other sources. Uh, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and, um, it's got an amazing soundtrack, it has to be said. It's really, really good. Um, yeah, really kind of like fast paced, and you know, it kind of goes with the fast pace of the game as well. Graphically, it looks really, really good. Um, I think it's quite an old Mega Drive game, um, if you know what I mean. And um, yeah, it's got an interesting mechanic where you, it's got like a, um, it's almost like a barrier on it, you know, like the force from our type. And when you fire it out at certain enemies, it will kind of grab their weapon, um, bring it back, and you can actually use the uh, the weapon that you've actually grabbed. Say if you've got, yeah, there's, there's some bad guys that have got really big lasers, you, you fire out your weapon, your weapon comes back, and then your ship can fire that laser. Um, Really, really interesting mechanic. Um, it's like the first boss you can steal the first boss's laser, and you've got this great big laser firing on, on level two. Um, and I've heard it kind of criticised for being quite tough. Um, as we said, I've been playing it, and I don't think it's hugely tough. But I'm not sure if that's because I'm playing it on the on a PAL Mega Drive, and it's running, you know, it's running slower. Um, but yeah. Um, Really, really, really happy to have that in my collection. I, out of the three games, I think probably having not played Curse, but playing uh, Dangerous Seed, I think it's great. I think, I, to be honest, I prefer it to, from what I can tell, to you know, to quite a few of the uh, of the power releases that I played as well. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely up there anyway. It's a good, it's, it's a good solid shooter. Um. So yeah, it's been, it's been a bit mixed bag. These games have kind of taken quite a while to get through. I mean, the, the postal system in, has been running a bit shit, to be honest, um, with the bad weather. I mean, yeah, the last three days have been the, the, the nicest days we've had so far. We've had just ridiculously bad weather. Um, yeah, I sent a game out to someone uh, who I know in America, um, and yeah, they, it seems like that post has gone missing. Um, so I'm not having a great time with the, with the with the post at the moment, but the games are still trickling through. Still another Mega Drive, uh, Japanese Mega Drive game on its way, the shooter, um, as well. And yeah, another few interesting shooters on the way as well. Um, there's going to be two games in the uh, 12, 14 games. 12 months, £1,200 series as well this month, and I'll um, get onto that one next. So uh, I, I hope you've yeah I hope you've enjoyed these games as much as I, as I have, um, and um, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you later.